Former Goldman Sachs banker and current U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is getting slammed after he told Greta Thunberg to go back to go to college and study. Uh, now, this followed her complete uh, her call for the complete divestment from fossil fuels. In fact, let me give you her statements here. Uh, quote, we demand at this year's World Economic Forum, participants from all companies, banks, institutions and governments immediately halt all investments in fossil fuel exploration and extraction immediately end all fossil fuel subsidies and immediately and completely divest from fossil fuels. We don't want these things done by 2050, 2030, or even 21, 2021. We want this done now. So she says, divest from fossil fuels, right? Just take all your money that you're putting into it out. They don't need the subsidies. They don't need any of this stuff, right? So now in response, Mnuchin told uh, the elite crowd at Davos, quote, what is she? Is she the chief economist? Who is she? I'm confused. After she goes and studies economics in college, she can come back and explain it to us. Oh, is that so? So now, uh, suddenly a member of the Trump administration is promoting college. No, Well, now, wait a minute. You ask cer certain conservatives, well, they'll tell you that uh, colleges are uh, liberal communist training centers. Hmm. Uh, well, that's interesting. So now Trump administration officials say, well, why don't you go to college then? And then come back and tell us. Well, why don't you say something, Mnuchin? You went to college. You went to Yale. In fact, Mnuchin graduated from Yale in 1985 with a bachelor's degree. In what? I don't know. I don't know. Not even the White House's profile on Mnuchin says what he actually graduated in. He just got a bachelor's. But a bachelor's in economics, a bachelor's in business. I don't know. I couldn't find the information. That's interesting. Um, now, what's more important is part of his profile. Right after he graduated with a bachelor's from Yale, uh, he ended up working for Goldman Sachs, where his father had been employed since 1957. Oh, so he goes to college for a little bit, gets a bachelor's degree. Uh, and then his daddy says, well, why don't you come work, to me, work with me at Goldman Sachs? Of course. Of course he does. Uh, now, here's the thing. So his uh, suggestion to Thunberg is, why don't you go take out a bunch of debt and then go to college? Well, what's funny is that she doesn't actually live in the United States, so where she would go to college, it'd be actually free. Uh, but here in America, we saddle students with tons and tons of debt. So I'm not sure he knows that specific part. But he says, well, just go to college, learn something, and then come back. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. You don't need to have a college degree in order to talk about climate change as an activist. And that's what she is. She is an activist, right? Uh, and the thing about her is that she doesn't have to come up with new science. No, all she has to do is just tell us, and that's what she's doing, to go and look at the body of work that has already been put out by the world scientists. 99% of the world scientists agree that without a doubt, the increased rate of climate change is being driven by human activities. And right now, the rate of that warming is beyond the ability of plants, animals, and humans to be able to adapt to, which is why we need to slow the rate of this change by not putting more carbon into the atmosphere than we than we need to. We should be going to immediately, as soon as we can, net zero. 99% of scientists. And by the way, we're running out of time to head off the worst of it. We're already set for a not great future, 1.5 degrees uh, Celsius of warming, right? We have a limit of two before it gets really bad. We're not even on track to hit that. We're on track to go over it. All right. But Benuchin, by the way, and by extension, the entire Trump administration and the other world leaders that are there at Davos, they're ignoring this. They're just ignoring this. And furthermore, they're dismissing her for being a child, right? Uh, now, she is a child. She's 17 years old. And she is worried about the world that she's going to grow up in and eventually take over. 
right? The next generation will take over for the rest of us, especially the older people, the older generation that is dying out. They're not going to have to deal what Greta Thunberg and the rest of the younger generation are going to have to deal with. And so she's like, hey, while you're in charge, why not, you know, make it so that the world sucks a little bit less for the rest of us, for those of us who are growing up in it? Apparently, that's too much to ask. Uh, now, Mnuchin, after these statements, got a lot of pushback, including from Thunberg herself. I'm going to save that for last. Uh, Miller Center fellow Chris Liu said, quote, here's what a Mnuchin learned uh, in uh, from economic studies as the foreclosure came. He ran a company, One West, that booted elderly residents from their homes due to onerous loans and technicalities. I think there was a story where uh, an elderly person, a grandma, got kicked out of her home over like 13 bucks. Some ridiculous low amount where she was late and her home was foreclosed on. That's ridiculous. Author and environmentalist Naomi Klein pointed to this. Somebody tell, uh, should tell Mnuchin about the hundreds of Harvard faculty members and thousands at other universities, which includes Yale, uh, who have called for fossil fuel divestment. Other critics, David Davin, uh, I'm sorry, David Dayan uh, from the American Prospect says Steve Mnuchin thinks Greta Thunberg needs an economics education where she can uh, take courses like strip mining Sears Assets 103 and forging signatures to take homes away from people 204. I love that. Uh, and then woke comrade Peter Dow <laughs> uh, says this, look at Mnuchin, the smug clown. Greta Thunberg has more integrity and wisdom in her pinky toe than a thousand Mnuchins. These Trump cronies are wretched people. Now, not only are they wretched, but they are anti-intellectual. They do not want people to go into college, for one, which is why they do nothing about the massive amounts of student loan debt and the cost of college. Um, and the reason they don't want people to go to college is because they learn facts, right? As I mentioned before, they're liberal communist training centers, according to some Republicans. But if you do happen to go to college, well, then they will smear you as a smug elitist. I know. Right? <laughs> now, someone who knows that uh, is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who said this. If you don't have an economics degree like Greta, they'll mock you for not having one. Well, if you do have one, as I do, they'll claim it's illegitimate. Haters going to hate and deniers will deny. Uh, they will deny logic, science, and environmental consensus in order to protect oligarchy. And look, it, here's the thing. like uh, AOC, I see all these memes against Alexander Ocasio-Cortez. You know what the majority of them are? Calling her stupid. Saying, oh, what an idiot. Oh, what a, what a moron. Lefty, lo uh, loony leftist, right? Uh, she's so stupid. She was, she was a bartender. Oh, they hate working people. But they forget that she's an incredibly smart person. She has a degree. She is a smart person. Uh, and so that that's part of the disconnect here. Uh, now, for Greta's part, she responded to this, and I love it. She says, my gap year ends in, uh, ends in August, but it doesn't take a college degree in economics to realize that our 1.5 uh, degree carbon budget and ongoing fossil fuel subsidies and investments don't add up. And of course, we give oil companies the tune of billions of dollars in subsidies for no reason. They're the most uh, wealthy, uh, prosperous corporations on the face of the planet. Why do they need those subsidies? Why do they need literal handout socialism from the U.S. taxpayer to function? Hmm, kind of funny, right? Uh, now, Thunberg continues, she says, so either you tell us how to achieve this mitigation or explain to future generations and those already affected by the climate emergency why we should abandon our climate commitments. And these are the commitments laid forth uh, by the, or I'm sorry, laid out uh, by the Paris Climate Agreement that we are not following at all. And here's the other thing that doesn't get mentioned. Climate change, if we do nothing about it, it's going to have a huge impact on the world economy. It gets bad enough, certain foods will not grow or they'll grow in 
you know, foods that already like require a specialized climate to grow in, you'll not be able to grow them in certain places. There will be uh, droughts. There will be famines at, at, due to those droughts. There will be increases in prices, disruptions of markets, increasing scarcity of certain things. Not only that, but you'll have stronger storms that will cost city and state governments more to clean up after. Those are some of the economic realities of climate change. So maybe Mnuchin, and yes, he later on said, oh, I was just joking, I was just joking, after he got a ton of pushback. No, he needs to take his little stupid joke and his condescension, shove it somewhere else, uh, and then he might as well uh, go and listen to people who are smarter than he is for once in his goddamn life. Maybe then Mnuchin will actually learn something. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.